Ooh. So, morning. Uh, I'm off to Berlin today. <laughs> Happy days. Uh, I'm well excited. Going back to my favourite place. Happy days. I I'm, I'm running a little bit late. I should take the dog for a walk in a minute. Yeah, then I better book an Uber because. Uh, yeah, I'm not driving to the airport. Parking's expensive. Right, bags are all packed. That is my camera bag. That one is going on the plane with me. Uh, that one, I hopefully it could go over my head. Not really sure. Either way, I paid for it to go underneath, just in case. So again, I must apologise for the mess of my studio. There's literally an ironing board up. Uh, there's lighting equipment above my head. There's a hoover behind me. It's 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 in a bit of a state, but it's literally because I've just finished my last bit of packing for Berlin. The hard bit about going Berlin is my first time going anywhere like a broad different country without Vicky, and uh, I'm going to be leaving him. Oh, gutted. Thank you. That's very kind, man. I'm going to miss you too, man. This is Gus. He's a uh, he's my dog. Right, time to book an Uber. Uber has been called, and now time to say goodbye to the boy. Time to say goodbye to my little studio for a while. Um, I'll be editing and, um, and doing stuff from hotel room. So one of the main reasons why I'm going to Berlin um, is mainly because I needed to use up my holiday, but also I think it's a good personal challenge. I've never been to a different country by myself before, so this is gonna be a, it's gonna be different. You know, I've had to do all the planning myself. Usually Vicky's like really, really good at that. Um, but no, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of Berlin than I did last time. Uber's just dropped off. Time to head to the terminal and check in. Drop this uh, bag off. Oh, it's exciting and sort of nerve-wracking that I'm on at an airport all by myself. Um, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll be good. It's my first solo travel adventure. We've uh, we'll get through this together. Bag is dropped off. That was uh, well easy. I think I've got to the airport quite early. But to be fair. I've booked one of like the airport lounges, so I'm gonna like do a little bit of like exploring and, and shopping and mainly eating, um, and then go chill out in the lounge. But yeah, that was nice and easy. I'm through security. It's the first time in like ages I've not been stopped because of my microphone. Um, I use a thing called a shotgun microphone, and uh, I think it looks like a gun. So it's the first time I've not been stopped, which is kind of refreshing. And I've gotten through security and check in in about 10 minutes, so. I'm happy. So I was filming a time lapse, the time lapse you've literally just seen now, and uh, a police officer came over and like asked like what I was doing. He wanted to do a body check to make sure who I was was who I say I am. That was really weird. What I was doing was filming a time lapse, so I had to explain to him what a time lapse was, show him what I was filming, and then he was like, "Oh, pretty cool. I like it. On your way." <laughs> weird. Right, so I just got to the. Uh, sort of lounge area thing, the small lounge, which is pretty cool. All you can eat, all you can drink for 26 quid. And plus there's these really cool sleeping pods, which so I might have a nap. I need to recover from that uh, police officer. But I, that was really scary. Like, <laughs> I've never been stopped by a police officer before. That was really weird. He, he wanted to look at my camera and everything. It was, uh, it was bizarre. But, yeah, um, cheers. Juice with no bits. Perfect. <laughs> so that was really cool. So one of the ladies who just worked, uh, who works up here, just like just came over, took away an empty cup, and um, just <laughs> was like, "Your camera is so cool. Did you build it yourself?" We were like talking about the gorilla part and and the microphone. I was like, "No, no, it's, it's just all cheap stuff I bought from the shops. It's really nice." So. It's a good little pick me up, especially getting stopped by that police officer for, for filming, so, you know, it's nice. I think I might edit a bit of this vlog, but like the one obviously you're watching right now, get a bit of nap time and then just chill out, keep eating and drinking till my flight to Berlin is ready, so happy days. Right, 
Time to leave the lounge, time to go to my flight. I just need to figure out what gate I'm going to. Just landed in Berlin, nice short flight, fell asleep during Spider-Man. First half of the film was good, now I need to figure out how to get to Alexanderplatz and my hotel. Out of the airport now, I've got this thing called the Berlin Welcome Card, it's basically like a 48 hour card for all the trains and stuff, and also gives you like a discount on uh, loads of attractions. So now, head into the station and get to the hotel. like 48 years worth of walking I finally found my hotel lovely lovely journey on the S-Bahn so many trees everywhere I've noticed that about Berlin there are so many trees and it is beautiful every like balcony has got a plant on it it's, it's really really nice and I've just seen that my hotel is a uh, is next to Universal Records so maybe we'll uh, pop in there for a chat <laughs> this is the pinkest lift I've ever seen hmm. Right, so, this is the room. Wow, this is, uh, this is unique. I have never stayed in a room like this. It's like some sort of alien pod sort of thing. Let's have a look, wow. What a view. What a beautiful view, that is incredible. I have never stayed in a room like this. Look at the lamp, that's unreal. Yeah, it's absolutely unreal, but that's not the sole reason I've booked this room, per se. Um, I will get to that. That is very, very, very pink. Right, so this is the real reason I booked this hotel room. Being a musician, I, you know, I love playing my guitar. It's, it's a dream, I love singing. Unfortunately, it's quite difficult travelling with an instrument, especially if you're travelling on your own, which is, for me, it's the first time. So this is the reason I booked this hotel room. How incredible is that? You can order a guitar or a keyboard or a piano, bass guitar to your room, like as room service, free of charge. Like, how incredible is that? I have never seen anything like this. So this hotel brand is called Now, N-H-O-W, and it's incredible. You, it's the first hotel for music in Europe. Amazing. Top floor, two, not one, two recording studios. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Right, I think I'm gonna have a little freshen up, uh, unload some of my stuff, and then let's get headed out into the city because that's why we're here, isn't it? Right, that is much better. Quick uh, freshen up because the old shirt I'd been traveling in and sweating in, I did a lot of walking from the station to uh, this hotel. Uh, unpacked my bags, a uh, bit, little bit of freshen up, and yeah, ready to go out and explore. I think first stop is going to be Alexander Platz because it's about six o'clock here now and I'm very hungry and in need of dinner so let's uh, let's head to Alexander Platz plus there's this amazing amazing camera shop there as well so we're gonna go check that out as well also another thing that I love about Berlin well I newly love about Berlin when I went to San Diego they had these electric scooters that go about 20 miles an hour they were made by a company called Lime they've got them here in Berlin so I'm gonna hopefully go and find one of the Lime scooters and yeah, let's scoot about the place, explore, get out there. So I've just done about two or three kilometers on the line bikes, but I think I'm gonna do the rest on foot. That way I can take in the city a little bit more, you know, see a little bit better if you know what I mean. I literally almost forgot, I forgot to say, thank you so much to everybody who has supported the channel because I didn't realize, but the channel has literally just surpassed over a thousand subscribers which is an amazing milestone so yeah thank you everybody who's 
watch videos, like videos, shared, got involved in the comments. The comment section have been absolutely hilarious recently. So yeah, thank you so much everyone who's who's got involved in the channel. Let's uh, let's get a thousand more, let's get a million more, you never know. See when I first came to Berlin, when Vicky and my wonderful family and friends brought me a trip to go there, I knew instantly that I wanted to come back. Some of my favourite musicians recorded music here. David Bowie, Higgy Pop, all like, have a connection with Berlin, and I have a connection with Berlin. It's full of creative people, they strive and celebrate cre creation now, and I think that's absolutely amazing. Like walking past the last bits of the Berlin Wall, the East Side Gallery, it's you know, sort of inspiring how far Berlin's come, and sort of inspires me to go a little bit further as well. I didn't actually realise how much of the Berlin Wall is actually, is actually left. There's loads, all of that there is the like, last bits of the Berlin Wall, it's, it's incredible. This might sound really lazy, but I think I'm going to get a scooter back. It's about a 45 minute walk from my hotel to Alexanderplatz. I'm knackered. Yeah, definitely, definitely getting a scooter back or an Uber. You, you never know, either one will work. As long as I don't have to use my legs. So I'm at Alexanderplatz now. This is where the first sort of market is. We went to the first sort of main attraction of Berlin. We went to, and incidentally, there's a market going on right now. Right, time to go stare at tech. I can't afford and cry myself to sleep. So I wasn't actually allowed to film in store. Not that anybody told me off for that at all. Um, but I wanted to get something because I'm not coming all the way to Berlin to not buy anything from my favourite shop. So I've been after a fast charger. Got that. 25 euros, bargain, and it's fast, so happy days. But right now, I am starving and I need to get something to eat because, yeah, I am well hungry right now, so food is on the agenda. So I was thinking about going to McDonald's, but that didn't seem very, you know, cultural and explorey, if you know what I mean. So loads of people suggested that I try this thing called currywurst, um, which is like this like a German sausage, ketchup, and, um, well, curry powder. So I'm gonna give this a try because everyone says it's like a must do thing. So here we go, let's uh, see what this is like. It's spicy, but I like it. It's really nice. Mm. I'm glad I didn't go to McDonald's. Right, that was amazing. That curry worst was so good, uh, it's literally all gone. I've got nothing left to put on the ketchup. So I'm gonna go jump on a lime scooter, head back to the hotel, and uh, have a little explore on my way. And yeah, I'll see you back at the hotel. Boom. Woo! Right, just parked lime scooter. Three euros 80, and I did like quite a few miles. Whoa, loud. Anyway, just got back to the hotel, gonna chill for a bit and uh, yeah, let me start editing this. So we'll pick this up tomorrow when we we'll explore a bit more of the city. Tomorrow I want to go see Brandenburg Gate, Museum Island and uh, another really cool camera shop. So I'm gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed this video, if you did smash that like button, subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Peace.